Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, if you saw my last tour video, you saw my version of Serenity Falls Estate, which is my primary residence and my guild hall for the Kuza clan, the guild you see on the screen here. Uh, it's my favorite house by far, it was the first house I bought. Um, but today I wanted to give you guys a tour of another really cool house available in Elder Scrolls Online. This house is called Ald Velothi Harbor House and it's in north uh, west Morrowind here. Um, if you're familiar with the house, the first thing you'll notice is that I went completely ham on the yard out here. Uh, when you originally buy this house, I think this yard comes with like nine flowers total. So uh, I completely just went ape shit and just littered the place with uh, vegetation and uh, any of the red flowers or ferns you see out here are native to Morrowind, and everything else was uh, transplanted. I also um, put in this uh, pathway of the pebbles here. I thought it gave it a nice touch. And then you come down here and you see a uh, clockwork light again and some Dwemer fountains and whatnot. Serenity Falls Estate, the uh, theme was Khajiit and uh, Dwemer. And here in Morrowind, uh, excuse me, here in the Aldvalothi Harbor House in Morrowind, uh, the theme is Dunmer and Dwemer. And just this closer, I did buy this house um, furnished, so you'll notice inside uh, all the furniture is matching and everything came with the house. Uh, the downstairs I did tweak quite a bit, um, and the upstairs I really didn't do much, but you'll see that now, so... So anyway, when you come in, uh, first room here to the left is my office. Pretty simple look, a lot of dwarven stuff around. A couple of champion busts for that gold finish that I like to have around. Um, on the map here, you'll notice a dagger. And that dagger on the map is uh, on the exact location where Srenja, the location of Serenity Falls Estate is. Uh, this room is just a guest room, really nothing special to see. Um, and again, this is all the furniture that came with the house. I do like the furniture that came with this house, though. You know, the wood and then with the gold trim and the gold finish, I do think it looks pretty nice. So um, You could really use it in a lot of different houses around ESO. And I like this house a lot in general also because it kind of gives you like that Star Wars Tatooine like mud hut kind of feel, so it's pretty badass. Um, here's the kitchen. It's kind of empty right now, and there's not much I can do about it just because I'm out of furniture slots. And while I'm on that subject, I'm just going to bitch to ESO and Zenimax for a second that uh, people who have monthly uh, memberships should have way more than 700 or 800 slots. We should at least have 15, and I think the vast majority of us would agree that we should have unlimited slots. If we want our houses to look like goddamn horde houses, uh, that's our rights. So, anyway, um, you guys probably hear that machinery, and it gets louder as we come over here to the replica of Morrowind and the Red Mountain. And you'll notice the Red Mountain has steam coming out of it, and that is because underneath this model is a hidden Dwemer Forge. So we just walk around the perimeter of the model down here, and it takes us downstairs, right into this hidden room here. I'm kind of using it lore-wise as like a dwarven mount creating station, but I also do have, you know, just a regular blacksmithing station down here and whatnot. Um, and everything's Dwemer style, so it's pretty badass. I like it. It's my favorite part of the house by far, and uh, it's my favorite forge I've ever made by far, so... So anyway, we have the hidden forge downstairs amongst all the rest of the stuff, and then uh, we come upstairs, and like I said, I really didn't change much of this after buying it. Maybe moved a bookcase or two, and maybe a carpet here or there, but for the most part, the furniture upstairs is, is pretty much how I, how I got it when I bought the house furnished. And then last but not least, we come out here to the balcony. Uh, you gotta have the sky shard for aesthetic purposes, obviously. And then the balcony also gives a much better view of the giant mushrooms and the entire property, really. Uh, and then, of course, come over here and 
relax and have a nice view of the ocean as well as a nice view of our little corner of Morrowind. So thanks everybody for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this house uh, and stay tuned for the next video.